PHP algorithms. Firstly, what is an algorithm? I don't know. Actually, yeah, I do. So let's begin. An algorithm is simply creating an automated task involving multiple steps. That's what an algorithm is. So what you do is instead of stepping one and then going to two and then going to three and stepping through the process manually, we're going to create the entire system as one task. So you develop step one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, however many steps there are, all into one package, and it automates throughout so you don't need to step through. Okay, enough of that. Now, here's basically what I'm talking about. If you have step A, we can say, okay, do step A, but now what? So now we go to step B, and we continue to step B, just like that. And this is all a manual process. See, I'm writing it all on the board. But now I can visualize, if you will, what each step, the, the entire process. So let's say we have C, and then we go to D, and we go to let's stop at E, A, B, C, D, E, just like that. Now we did all of this manually, but here's what you can do with an algorithm. In programming, that is, because we have a for loop, we have a while loop, and of course other loops like do while and for each, which, I mean, it's all the same. If you look at a loop and what you need to do with an algorithm, it's, it's essentially the same. The, the, the loop that you use depends on what you need it for and what the purpose is for. For example, a for each loop is going to be faster than a for loop, but you can't count with a for each loop necessarily, so you have to add a counter to it, and it can slow down the process. So you might use a for loop if you need to count. Or you could use a while loop if you need to do other processes uh, that doesn't involve counting, or you can even count. No, that's just technical details. So here's what you do. I mean, I'm not going to write down the entire for loop, but here's what you can do with the with a an algorithm. So you have all your little processes A, B, C, D, E, and it all works. So you just execute this one system, and it all this one system automatically knows to go A to B to C to D to E, and it all works in that way. And plus, with an algorithm, now we have this one process that contains multiple steps and so what you do here is you can create another algorithm here and we'll call this uh, Z because it's the, you know, it's the last letter of the alphabet we'll just say Z because we're not going to use it anywhere else and that's okay so now we have another algorithm over here and we can we can combine all these algorithms we'll call this X so now we have three separate algorithms. This one here contains multiple steps. This one here contains multiple steps. This one here contains multiple steps. Now we can have a lot, much larger system and a much larger, larger algorithm using these smaller pieces. And so now we can combine all of this into one algorithm. Isn't that cool? 